Hi, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you, how to stop tooth decay without a dentist. In just a moment I'm also going to show you, the most overlooked types of foods that cling to your teeth and why you need to avoid them as much as possible in order to prevent or stop tooth decay. But for now, let's dive into how to stop tooth decay without a dentist. Tooth decay is a three-step process. First, bacteria in your mouth feed on debris and coat your teeth with a film known as plaque. This is why brushing and flossing are so important, you need to remove food and drink remnants and sweep away plaque before it hardens into a substance known as tartar, which is more difficult to remove through at-home dental hygiene. Next, the acids in plaque attack minerals in the protective, hard enamel surface of your teeth, which leads to holes. That allows bacteria and acids to dig into your dentin, the next, softer layer of your teeth. Your dentin has little tubes that communicate with the nerves of your teeth, which is why cavities can make your teeth very sensitive, especially when you eat or drink something hot, cold, or sweet. In addition to sensitivity, you may experience cavity symptoms like a small white spot on your tooth or an actual hole on your tooth, which may become stained brown or black over time. Lastly, the determined bacteria and acid work their way down to the pulp of your teeth, which is the inner layer that contains nerves and blood vessels. This can lead to swelling and pain at the root of your teeth or even in the bone, especially when you bite down. In addition to a severe toothache, when left untreated, this kind of bacterial damage can cause infection and tooth loss. So, can you stop tooth decay without a dentist? If you and your dentist catch tooth decay early enough, you might be able to get away filling free. Fluoride is a mineral that can reverse tooth decay that would otherwise become a cavity. This is that stuff your dentist brushes onto your teeth or puts into a tray for you to wear for part of your appointment. Professional fluoride treatments help remineralize your teeth when plaque has damaged that protective enamel. In addition to professional treatments, your dentist can counsel you on at-home fluoride options, like a special mouthwash. At-home fluoride treatments are weaker than professional ones, but they can still be helpful. Practicing especially stellar oral hygiene can help beat back tooth decay in conjunction with professional and at-home fluoride treatments. That means flossing at least once a day and brushing for two minutes two times a day. The catch is that this only works if there's a significant enough amount of tooth decay to cause a cavity, but it hasn't created an actual hole in your tooth. Once a cavity is formed, fluoride cannot make tooth tissue grow back. If you're past the point of no cavity return, your dentist can take various options depending on how severe the decay is. You might need a filling, which is when a dentist drills out the decay then inserts some kind of material into the hole. Or you may need a crown, which is basically when a dentist drills away the decayed part of your tooth, then places a custom fitted cap on the healthy portion. If decay has infiltrated the pulp of your tooth, a root canal may be necessary. In this procedure, your doctor will remove diseased tooth pulp, may administer medication to clear up an infection, and then will replace the pulp with a filling. If your tooth is so severely decayed that your doctor can't fix it, it has to be taken out. Your doctor may recommend getting a bridge, which is made up of two or more crowns for the surrounding teeth and a false tooth in the middle, or a dental implant which is a false tooth that's inserted into a screw-like post drilled into your jawbone. Now, the most overlooked types of foods that cling to your teeth that you need to avoid as much as possible in order to prevent or stop tooth decay, are foods that cling to your teeth for a long time, such as milk, ice cream, honey, sugar, soda, dried fruit, cake, cookies, hard candy and mints, dry cereal, and chips. This type of foods are more likely to cause tooth decay than foods that are easily washed away by saliva. Let me know in the comments which of these foods you most consume on a regular basis. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of further dental health videos I've got coming up that are going to cover this in greater detail. In the next video I'll be showing you how to stop rapid tooth decay. So click on the image on the screen to go to the next video right now.